Hey guys, today I'm going to quickly run through how to use our new spring themed creative elements in your slideshows using ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer. All of the backgrounds and overlays in this collection are ready for you to mix and match however you want. So you'll have plenty of options for creating a number of great looking layouts for your slideshows. If you haven't gotten it yet, it's totally free. Simply go to slideshowblog.com and download the Spring Creative Elements Kit. Once you have the zip file downloaded, unzip the contents of the folder and save it to a safe place on your computer. Make sure this is some place that's easy to remember because you'll need to tell ProShow where these files are before you can use them. Now, let's take a look at how you can use these creative elements in your shows. I'm using ProShow Gold today but everything you'll see works the same in ProShow Producer. The first thing we want to do is locate the folder in the folder list. The folder will be called Spring Elements Creative Kit. Inside it, you'll see four subfolders, Alphabet Overlays, Backgrounds, Mats and Masks, and Text Banners. Let's start by working with some backgrounds. I'm going to click on the Backgrounds folder and then choose one to be the base layer for my slide. Now I'll just drag and drop it onto the slide list to create a new slide using this image. From here I can either add photos on top of this background layer or add additional elements from the kit to create a more complex collage-like layout. Since this creative kit is designed to help you make more creative looking slides, Let's add some other elements first before adding any photos. Go ahead and click on the Mats and Masks folder and take a look at the mats. Just like you would mat a photo in a picture frame, these digital mats work like an overlay for your background. You can mix and match the mats with different backgrounds to build your own custom look. I'm going to go ahead and choose one and add it as a second layer on top of the slide I made earlier. To add this image to the slide I just made, I'll click on the file and hold down the control key on the keyboard as I drag it onto the slide. You can see that my background now has a nice textured mat layered on top of it. I think this looks pretty good so far. So now, let's add a photo to the slide. I'm going to drag and drop a photo and add it as another layer to the slide. Next, I'm going to double click on the slide to open the slide options window and make some quick adjustments. Just above the preview window, let's start by clicking on the layer settings tab. With my photo layer selected, I'm going to click on the image in the preview window and drag it over to the left a little. Then, use my mouse wheel to resize it. For a little extra creative flair, I'll click on the adjustments tab then, over here in the Editing Tools pane, I'll add a drop shadow and white outline to my photo to help it stand out against my background. Press OK to apply the changes and go back to the main window. Now, let's take a look at these really neat alphabet overlays that are included in the kit. In this folder, you'll find a bunch of images of wooden tiles that you can use to spell out names or add descriptive text to your slides. There are tiles that cover A to Z, 1 to 10, plus a handful of common punctuation marks. You can use these just like any other image. Simply select the letter you want to add and drag and drop it onto a slide while holding the control key. For this example, I'm going to spell out the names of my happy couple. Once all of the tiles have been added to my slide, I'll double click to open up the slide options window then click on each layer to move them around a bit. For this slide, I'm going to vary the spacing and the positions of these layers to give my slide a little more character. The Alphabet Overlays folder also comes with several large script-like ampersands down towards the bottom of the folder. These are great for cases like this where you have two names and you want to add a little creative flair to highlight the fact that this show is about a happy couple. I'm going to choose this one and add it to my slide. I'll open up the slide options window again and use my mouse to click and drag it into place in the preview. Once again, I can resize it a bit by using my mouse wheel.
Now let's add some finishing touches. In the text banners folder that comes with the kit, you'll see a selection of pre-made banners that are designed to work well with the included backgrounds. For the slide I'm working on, I'm going to use one as a decorative backdrop to help make a caption really stand out. Let's go ahead and add one to this slide. Now back in slide options, I'm going to reposition this banner layer by clicking and dragging it in the preview. Next, I'm going to place a caption on top of the banner. Over here in the captions pane, I'll click the plus icon to add a caption. I want this caption to be a credit for my photo studio. So over here in the selected caption text pane, I'm going to type in Sunbelt Studios. In the preview, I'll drag my caption and place it on top of the banner that I added earlier. Then adjust the font and size options found in the caption format pane. And there it is, a beautiful title slide made using pieces from the free Spring Elements Creative Kit. For ProShow producer users, you can take things a step further using the photo masks included in the kit. In the mats and masks folder, you'll see several masks towards the top. These can be used with your images to give them a clean, traditional looking photo print border. I'm going to select a mask, plus this corresponding overlay file that goes with the mask. To select both files at once, press the control key as you click on each one. If I keep the control key pressed, I'll be able to drag both files and add them to my slide at the same time. Next, I'll double click to open up the slide options and this time make sure that the layer settings tab is selected. I want to move these layers so that they cover up my photo, but I also want to be sure that they're both lined up perfectly. So down here in the layer setup area, I'm going to type in some exact values for the position of both the black mask and white overlay layers. Now over in the layers list, I need to move both of these layers down so that they appear directly above the photo I'm using for this slide. First, I'll select this black mask layer. At the top of the layers list, I'll click on the down arrow until the black layer is just above the photo layer. Next, I'll move the white overlay layer down until it's on top of the black mask layer. To complete the effect, I'll select the black layer in the layers list, then over here in the layer type area, I'll click on the mask checkbox to activate it as a mask. By setting the type to transparency, the photo layer underneath the mask will only show through the solid black part of the mask, keeping the edges nice and neat. From here, I can reposition the photo layer under the mask, or even add some zoom motion to make it more interesting. All of the elements included in the kit feature complementary colors that are perfect for spring. Give these backgrounds and overlays a try when making your next slideshow with ProShow Gold or ProShow Producer.